To beard or not to beard. Many men are asking themselves nowadays if they can rock the bearded look. Some will jump right in and grow one, some just won't. And some will research which beard styles they like the most and which ones they can pull off before they start growing so that they have an image in mind. So today we here at Volt Life Proof Grooming want to give you a cut and dry, no nonsense article on the different beard lengths that you can try pulling off. As well as which people will be able to pull off those lengths based on face shape, genetics, as well as the inherent benefits and disadvantages of those different length beards. So here are the categories. We're going to be talking about clean shaven, obviously just no beard at all is an option, although not a good one in my opinion. We're going to be talking about stubble. We're going to be talking about short beards, medium beards, and long beards, and I'll give you the definition of what I consider stubble, short, medium, and long beards as we go through the video. So let's begin. Chances are you already know what it's like to have a clean shaven face. In fact, most of us have one or have had one for probably the first 16, 17 years of our lives. It's you often considered the most polished professional or clean cut style, but also requires the highest maintenance to keep that way. You're gonna have to shave pretty much every day if you don't want a little stubble showing. But if you're watching this video in the first place, then chances are you're not interested in the clean shaven look anyways, which I say, Good choice. So let's jump into stubble then. Stubble, I consider anything up to about three millimeters of length. Just for reference, mine, I usually shave my beard about five millimeters of length. Skin is still often visible underneath stubble, and stubble can take up to about seven days to grow out, depending on genetics. Generally, stubble is great for men with baby faces because it breaks up the roundness in the face, it adds some definition, some straight lines, and it gives you a more angular and defined look. Stubble can essentially be worn all across the formality spectrum. For example, you can see CEOs and top tier executives wearing stubble, as well as lower level employees, it's pretty much all around the formality spectrum. The benefit of stubble is that it's easy to grow, it comes rather quickly, but the disadvantage is that patchy areas in your beard become extremely, extremely noticeable. And that's because none of the hair is overlapping, which means it's easier to see where there are just areas with no hair at all. It can't be covered up. All right, so let's move on to short beards. And we're talking about beards between four millimeters and about 15 millimeters. You see, with a short beard, your hair is overlapping minimally, but still overlapping. Short beards are great for the business professional look. Pretty much all men can rock a short beard if their genetics permit them to grow beard in the first place. And that's because whether you have patches or thin areas, a short beard is actually long enough for you to cover a lot of those areas. Beards tend to grow at a rate of about half an inch a month, which means that most men can grow a short beard within 10 and 30 days. Now to keep a short beard short and regularly trimmed, all you need is an electric shaver. That's pretty much all you need, except if you prefer maybe some scissors or something to do some tight close work around your mustache. Preferably you'll have an electric shaver with adjustable guards and that way you can test which style, which length of short beard between four and 15 millimeters works best for you. Put simply, short beards require a bit less maintenance. Most men find that 10 millimeters is about the sweet spot. That gives you a good balance between falling into the stubble territory, kind of like I'm bordering right now, as well as a beard that's maybe too long for you to handle. Now let's talk about medium length beards. Now we're talking about beards from 16 millimeters to about seven and a half centimeters or roughly three inches. Now medium length beards are kind of the tipping point at which you may have to invest more of your time into maintaining them. There's kind of a curve there. It's like clean shaven takes a lot of maintenance, right? Stubble a little less so. Short beards require probably the least maintenance because you can grow it between four and 15 millimeters and then just trim it back. But medium length beards are gonna be a little tougher to maintain. With medium length beards and longer, you're gonna need to invest in some more materials for maintaining that beard. Things like electric shavers, scissors, uh, beard bombs, oils, maybe even beard wax if you have beard hairs that are very stray and stick out too much. See, medium length beards suffer from the flyaway phase. That's when beard hair is just long enough for it to become very noticeable when a beard hair is unruly and sticks out too much. The key to rocking a medium length beard is to keep it neat. And unfortunately, because a medium length beard requires volume, right, and not just hair that covers itself, People with patches or thin areas probably won't be able to pull off a medium length beard very well. But the benefit of medium length beards is that they're amazing at defining your face and giving you a very prominent and angular jawline. A jawline you can mold to create some facial symmetry with whatever hairstyle you're rocking as well. So you have more options to style a medium length beard than you have the other 
options, right? Like a short beard or anything like that, but it will require more maintenance. All right, now let's talk about long beards and long beards I define as anything above about 7.5 centimeters or greater than three inches of length. Now before we head into the long beard category, let's get some preconceptions out of the way. Yes, you could rock a long beard without looking like a wizard. Yes, long beards are harder to take care of. And no, long beards are not just for bikers or philosophers or the members of ZZ Top. See, the word long is completely relative. Long to me may not be long to you based on what you're used to. But to pull off a long beard, you're gonna wanna pay attention to your face shape. And you're gonna wanna do that because the length of your beard is going to affect the way your face looks. A longer beard is going to make your face appear longer. Also keep in mind that longer beards haven't really been appropriated into professional culture as much as things like shorter beards or stubble has been. So very generally, longer beards are considered less professional than shorter beards, stubble, or even just medium length beard. It'll take an average man about six months to grow a long beard. After growing a beard for about a year, the amount of growth that you experience is actually going to taper off, which means genetics will dictate how long your beard can be. At this point, your electric shaver and trimmer is only going to be useful for defining a neckline and cheek line. Cause chances are you're not gonna have a guard long enough to keep a long beard exactly the length you want. But like I said earlier with medium length beards, you are also also going to absolutely need beard balm, at least beard balm, beard oil too for nourishing your beard and the skin underneath, as well as some beard wax if you have really crazy untamed hair. So overall, the style of beard that you choose is going to depend on the style you like and whatever genetics has ordained that you can have. But never fear, because with the use of some cool grooming products, even slight areas where you may have patches of thinning out your beard can be covered up with some cool beard products. For example, Volt's Instant Beard Color. This is essentially like a brush on beard color that can also help cover patches. So keep in mind, a beard generally requires more maintenance the longer it gets, and you'll definitely need to keep up with the washing, grooming, trimming, just to make it look its best all the time. However, don't let the maintenance of a beard fright you away it's definitely worth having one. If you find a style you really enjoy, there's no reason not to go for it. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please hit like and subscribe. Click that bell icon so you'll be notified every time we post another cool video for Bolt Life Proof Grooming, and I will see you in the next video.